Hello and thank you for viewing. This video I'm going to do a fool's gold with eye for an eye, the unblinking eye, cold blooded and slippery bastard. Now why I'm using eye for an eye and cold blooded is because when you put the armor on during fool's gold you cannot drink any tonics. So your only source for health regeneration is just natural regeneration or through ability cards. There's also the ability card strange medicine which will give you health for doing damage. Cold blooded gives you health for doing kills. I prefer the cold blooded because strange medicine will decrease your health regeneration when you're not doing damage so it kind of will slow you down if you don't have any perks working for you. And then the dead eye card that eye for an eye requires you to do headshots which a lot of times I don't focus on headshots especially like right now I'm using explosive ammo if I use explosive ammo on somebody and they have the card never without one and I shoot their hat then that's going to be a waste of an explosive round now I don't want to waste my explosive rounds because they're pretty much a guaranteed easy point for the most part unless you shoot somebody that's too far away you don't get full damage out of it so I'm trying to just you know get my points with my explosive round and you do get a little bit of dead eye you can see i just got a little bit of dead eye there for each kill but if you get a headshot you get way more dead eye and a little bit later on after i run out of explosive ammo i will be getting some headshots and you'll be able to see how much more dead eye i get out of doing those headshots and it works really nice because it's demonstrated very well during this match i build my dead eye up and then someone's rushing me and I'm able to turn Slippery Bastard on and deal with them up close to Slippery Bastard. Now, I just got killed there. That's my first death. I'm going to get 23 kills. I'm going to die two times. Now, after dying, you know, right here, you can see before I get the armor, I tonic up. And I recommend doing that. The first time I got the armor, I did not tonic up. And that was a mistake. I realized it after I got the armor. Darn, I picked the armor up. I wasn't full on my dead eye. You really want to fill your dot eye up if you're going to be running this build before you put the armor on. Because like I said earlier, you can't drink a tonic afterwards. So once you get the armor on, kills or headshots is the only way you're going to get more dead eye. So tonic up before you put the armor on. And then you'll be, you know, a prime condition in order to succeed in this game mode. And that guy right there, using the pistols, he's probably trying to complete his daily challenge. People will come in and you know they don't pay any attention to the mission objective, me, because they're too worried about getting, I think, what was it, kills with a revolver or kills with a pistol? Kills with a pistol? I don't know. It was one or the other today. So you're going to sometimes run into people that are just doing some weird things in these events. That's okay. Just kill them. Get your points. Move on. You don't need to really know exactly why they're doing it. As long as they're not killing you, you're good to go. I'm going to get close to running out of explosive arrows here. When I started using these arrows, was I encountered somebody with Slippery Bastard. And this is a really good counter to somebody with Slippery Bastard. And once I started using them, I thought, this is fun. I'm just going to keep using them. Because honestly, who doesn't like blowing stuff up? I just love these arrows. Now, ideally... To use a bow, you want to have paint it black. Because then you're just like hitting your target every time. And here I switch to fire arrows without thinking about the fact that I'm not using paint it black. And, and like right about there, when I died, I realized, oh wait, that was a bad idea. So I, I thought about switching to paint it black just then. You saw me open up my ability cards. But I decided, no, I'm going to stick with Slippery Bastard. So I keep pushing up. I'm going to get this kill with the dynamite arrow, get my armor back, and now that's it. I, I, I'm going to live the rest of this match. I'm going to get seven more kills this run. I've got full dead eye. I'm going to clear this area out so the people aren't really that close to me. And then I'm going to switch to my bolt action. I'm going to get some headshots. And you're going to see the increase in dead eye from each headshot is very significant. It's almost like 25% of your dead eye is increased. Maybe 20%. I don't know. I'd have to do a little testing to see for sure. But it's 20 to 25%. Somewhere in there of your dead eye gets restored. And then 
I get to switch right back into Slippery Bastard with the sawed offs as someone rushes up on me. Here, right here, is I'm going to start getting some headshots. I go from no dead eye, it looks to be about 20%. That looks to be about 20% for just one headshot kill. Boom, I'm up to 40% nailed just from two kills. And then someone is rushing up on me, just flip that Slippery Bastard on, go back to the sawed offs, take them down. It's just good fun. It really is good fun. I love Slippery Bastard. I know a lot of people hate on it. I know a lot of people hate on using explosives in PvP matches. But, I mean, like, you're playing Red Dead Redemption 2. This is all stuff that's in the game. I'm not, you know, cheating in any way. And haters are going to hate no matter what I do. There's going to be somebody out there hating on it. So I really don't care. Keep on hating. I'm going to keep on having fun. Thank you, everyone, for viewing. I appreciate you coming in. Thanks, everyone, for commenting, subscribing, liking, sharing, especially everybody for joining. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all of you. I'll catch you next time. Until then, happy hunting and happy trail.